Peter Liu has been driving a tow truck in New York State since 1999. More and more you're seeing electric cars that don't quite make it to the next charge. Right, because they have nowhere to charge. Where are they going to go? And then you have a framework. For years, researchers have been stumped because building a better battery usually means a bigger battery. The main problem is when lithium batteries get bigger, the electric car inevitably goes slower and uses more energy. That's right. And this is a problem that battery scientists have been working on for a couple hundred years now, how to get more electrical energy into less weight in a smaller space. But this is our very first uh, prototype. Yet Ming Chang is a scientist at MIT, and he says he has the solution, namely a battery-charged liquid he calls Cambridge Crude. So this is going to allow you to make a lighter, cheaper battery with more energy. That's right. Uh, this material, it's a battery electrode, and, but it flows. And what we've done is to take nanoscale conductor particles and to put it in this electrode to allow us to extract the electricity. Another problem with electric cars is how long charging takes. Chang says once his liquid is charged, it can be stored and easily transferred. In fact, he envisions a future where we no longer pump gas, but instead fill our cars with fully charged Cambridge crude. Peter remains skeptical. We're not ready for electrical cars yet. Not ready yet, but pretty soon Cambridge crude will take us three times as far at half the price. Wow. That's it from here, Allison. Back to you. I like that math, Douglas. Mm -hmm. Really smart guy up there, Allison. Thank sure, you, I bet. Thanks so much.